Hi folks, I'd like to welcome you to Photo Tutorials. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a nice pinstripe and a nice border that will complement the pinstripe. It's a very common exercise with people who like to do the home, uh, home inkjet printing, so it's mainly effective on black and white images. Uh, people do use it on color images, but it's preferably uh, a lot better on the black and white. So I'm going to show you how we do it. Here we've got a black and white image that I'm going to show you and it's dead simple to do. First of all we're going to create the pinstripe. I'm going to use a white pinstripe and then I'm going to use a black border on top of that. And to do the pinstripe we go to image, we go down to canvas size. We click on canvas size and because I want to use the colour white it's already set in my box there. If that was the case with, with everybody else who's wanting to use white and that would set be set at black, then you need to change it to white. And what we're going to do, now that we've got the colour set, we're going to change the centimetres, which is default at centimetres, and we're going to change those to millimetres. Now on the width and the height, we're going to change the width of the pinstripe and we're going to give it 0 0.5 millimetres. And as you can see, see, that's what happens there. Now, if, if I undo that, or go a step back, you can actually do it all in one. Um, go to image, canvas size, do apologise for that. And we'll do both of those measurements at the same time. So rather than just the width, we're doing the top and the bottom as well, we're doing the height. We give that 0.5, 0 0.5 top and the 0 0.5 on the edges all the way around and we click OK and there's your pinstripe and as you can see it really makes that black and white image pop but what we want to do is we want to give that a nice black border and what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom out a little bit because we want to see the width on this border okay and to get the border we're going to do exactly the same exercise as we did for the um, the pinstripe this time what we're going to do is we're going to go to inches we're going to change the color and we're going to change the color to black so we have a black border with a white pinstripe on a black and white image and what we're going to do is we're just going to give that three and see how it looks with three inches And I think that looks about right there. What we do is we just click on that to zoom, zoom in on it. And we'll, we'll zoom that out, back out. Sorry. There we go. And then you can see we can just zoom in on that. Move that out of the way. And as you can see, it looks quite effective. We've got a three inch border with a, a half a millimetre pinstripe and round the inside. It's a really effective way of um, getting your black and white images to pop. And also what's quite common as well for people to do is they add a little bit of text in there. Um, I'll just put that in there. And if we can see the type font up here, it's called Bavand. That's quite a good one to use. It gives like a like a signature feel. And what we're just going to do is just going to write Monument Valley in there. Okay, and we, what we'll do is we'll just drop it down there in the, in the centre. I'll click the tick. And as you can see, it makes a quite um, effective print. And that can be run through your inkjet printer, and it'll print the border, the pinstripe, and the photograph out as, as all one. So give it a try. Very useful technique, and very effective as well. Give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. And once again, thanks for watching Photo Tutorials. Bye-bye.